once I'm actually showered. Um, I got up well, slightly earlier, about like 30 minutes earlier than normal. My husband's been out of the shower, so that's that sound. Uh, it's now 7.22. I have about eight minutes before we go to get the kids. They're just getting up, so I'm gonna quickly try and start getting ready before we go grab them. That's when the chaos starts. So the reason why I'm actually up a little bit earlier than normal is because Today is actually going to be quite a busy day. I have work, I have children, and I just have so much laundry that I have to get through. It's pretty insane. But also, tonight, my cousin's in town for work, and she's coming in for dinner, and I think my sister is as well, who also lives nearby, and I have to prepare dinner for that. Um, and I also have to edit, and I have some stuff to get done around this house. So I'm trying to get up, trying to be productive. And to be quite honest, I am not a naturally productive person. I have no problem just laying around, just hanging out all day. Um, so me trying to be active is not not something that's really natural for me. I wish it was, but it definitely isn't a natural trait of mine. So today I'm just trying to get through this pile. One of the biggest things I need to do is really get uh, through laundry. My mom was here over the weekend and um, she had started to do some of the laundry that was in the laundry room. Stupidly, I didn't put all the laundry in there. I didn't want her to see how much I really had. So she did some of them that were in the laundry room, and then I have some in, in my um, bathroom. And then she had folded a lot of laundry that I had, but not all of them that I had already washed. So I have quite a bit to do. And if you have children and you work full time at home, the day, there's just not enough hours in the day, to be honest when you have a lot to do. So you have to kind of pick and choose what's the most important. But I need to stop talking and hurry up. Now I have like not that much time. So let me try and get this done. Look at this bump. Oh my gosh. I am 19 weeks and today's Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm getting my anatomy scan. I cannot believe I'm already at the halfway point. All right, let me go get the kids. Good morning, Bowie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember when I said I had a lot of laundry to do? Don't judge me. Yeah, we put no, no, you, no. You have to put these ones in the washer first. Come on, Bowie. My biggest goal is to help my children enjoy doing laundry so then they don't pick up my bad habits of just disliking it so much that they let it pile up. So I'm hoping this works. Honestly, I really struggle with doing laundry and having systems in place. If anyone knows a good system to keep on track of laundry, please let me know in the comments below because I struggle. Last night we didn't do the dishes so we're having to get that done before we start breakfast and I have a crabby little toddler who wants to be held only by mommy so we've been having to deal with that this week. It's now 8.30 and it's time to get signed on to work and also get breakfast started and going. Today we're not having our normal oatmeal. We're having some waffles, granola, and some yogurt. I didn't know what to make this morning and I was just trying to get things done and done quickly. So this is what they're having and they love it. They it's now 8.40 and the kids are settled with breakfast and I'm getting my breakfast and planning for my day. I'm My husband's quite busy so he's up in the office getting some work done and I'm just trying to see what I need to get done for the day and trying to fit it into my schedule. Alright, I might be on a roll here. I'm back up after doing breakfast cleanup. Oh my gosh, this baby's growing. And I feel it every time I go up and down the stairs. I'm gonna bring the kids upstairs and we're gonna get the laundry folded. And hopefully I'll get them put away. But I also have to work on a report that I have to get done today, so we'll see how it goes. I think a baby has followed me upstairs. Hi, Bowie. Hey. Wanna help mommy? It's now 9.15 and my husband's still upstairs working and so I have both of the kids while I'm trying to finish up a report. My toddler's a little bit clingy and so it's just been a little bit challenging trying to keep them busy but they've been pretty good today so luckily that's one thing going for me. 
Honestly, it's just been one of those days where it's super busy at work. I have some stuff I have to finish up. And then the kids, our brother being very, like, you know, tame and not super wild this morning, it's been one of those days where you have a toddler that's asking every question at every moment when you're trying to focus. So it's been a really it's hard to explain. It's an easy morning with them, but also difficult just because I have a lot to get done for work. And I still have not made a full dent on the washing machine. I actually need to turn over for those clothes I have put in the washer and dryer. And I still have to yeah. now. It's 1120. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm gonna make I'm gonna finish eating my mango that I didn't get to this morning because it's been again super busy. Um, and my husband's been super busy as well for work, so he's been upstairs and I've had the kids for the majority of the morning. Um, I had one meeting already today and I have another one, I believe at like 12.30 and then one later on today around 3.30. So I'm definitely going to be utilizing my, when the kids go down for a nap, well, quite wisely. Um, oh, actually, my husband just came down and just finished, I guess, his work meeting. And over in our family area, or dining room table area, is a really big, big mess. And that's where we've been hunkered down this morning. So I'm probably going to get the kids a fruit snack to eat, just to hold them over until lunch around like 12, 12.30. These so the work from home is really fine, but, you know, there's those mornings where, like, you just really need to get things done and it's just been very distracting, but it is what it is. It is finally quiet. Um, it's about 12.10. I just finished up the report that I've been working on this morning. I'll probably have to go back and work on it later on as well um, after it's been reviewed. But my husband took the kids to the grocery store to pick up some stuff that I need. I think I mentioned earlier today that one of the things I have to get ready for is my cousin's in town and so I'm cooking dinner for her. Um, I think she's coming here around 5 o'clock, so I have to actually pull out the shrimp. I'm making shrimp, broccoli, pasta, alfredo. So let me pull out the shrimp. This needs to defrost. I, this was, um, I bought this on my grocery haul that was put on earlier this week. I'll link that below if you want to see what we get in a week. And I had already planned to make this, so it's great. But the one thing I didn't plan ahead was, um, getting alfredo sauce and the actual pasta. I thought I had the pasta in my cabinet and I <laughs> didn't, so my husband actually has to go out and get that. Um, so now that the kids are gone, I'm probably gonna have to do some cleanup. It's quite a disaster in here. Like, a real big, big disaster. So I'm gonna get cleaning while they're not here and then I probably need to do go turn over the laundry and then get their lunch prepared. Oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll clean up, get their lunch prepared, and then I'll go turn over the laundry. That should probably be last because everything else should be prepared before they get home. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it is now 1.42 and I'm just now turning this laundry. It's been such a hectic and busy day. And I'm already exhausted. I want to be realistic. I don't think I'm going to make it through this mountain of laundry that I had and this plan that I have for laundry today. So I still have some work to get done and I still need to get prepared for dinner. Um, so what I'm going to do is get these clothes out of the dryer and then I'm also just going to put these in the dryer and then hopefully push this laundry plan to tomorrow. Tomorrow I have my um, anatomy scan in the morning. And then after that, I think I should have like a pretty free day. So I'm gonna try and focus on like folding a bunch of laundry that I have and finishing up the rest because I am drowning in laundry and I can't live like this anymore. But I need to be realistic about how my day is. And one thing I can definitely say is if you work from home, definitely be realistic about kind of the goals you have. I was being a little bit lofty, but I think I had already made the plans that I made in the morning just didn't match the schedule and I actually didn't check my work schedule for the day and didn't think about what I had to actually get done. So I think one good thing is knowing when you need to reevaluate what you're doing and to change it instead of continuing to force, like I could continue to force to get the laundry done and done and done for the rest of the day, but then I think I'll just be super busy, kind of put undue stress on myself and I don't need that right now. I'm pregnant and busy with work, have kids, um, and have life that goes on. So I think just reevaluating kind of what's going to work for the rest of the day is just going to be really helpful and let me feel a lot less stressed than thinking, oh, I need to go run upstairs and do that. So I'm just going to reevaluate right now. I'm just going to take out a lot of the dry stuff in the dryer, put these in the washer, and just move on for the rest of the day. 
To be honest, changing the direction of my plans for today has really, right now I just feel a lot less stress and a lot less anxiety about what I have to do and just taking one thing off of my plate just like kind of just takes a weight off my shoulders right now and I feel really relieved and I feel like I can now go back and do what I need to do like get my finish my work um, and kind of tidy up and all that without feeling super stressed and have that nagging in the back of my mind I'm not getting what I need to get done so I feel a lot better reevaluate if you have to and change the course of your plan because again you need to be flexible when you work from home and you have kids here as well oh, I feel a lot better It is now 4.07 and I just had a meeting at 3.30 and that was a stressful, stressful meeting. The meeting itself was stressful. It was more so we ran into the point where my husband and I both had a meeting at the same time. And I had to take both of the kids. Um, and so the kids wanted to be set up downstairs so I brought them downstairs and then the TV speakers weren't working so that was just like a whole mess. And so my son came upstairs and he was just like in the background while I was in the meeting and it was a talking meeting. So he was just talking the whole time I was in the meeting and grabbing the most noisiest toys, riding his bike. So it was just a very noisy, noisy, loud meeting. And it is those times where you have to choose who's going to take the meeting with the kids. And it was the situation, the situation was fine. And my coworker understood. She has kids herself. And so they understood. So it wasn't too bad. But it, it just can be kind of frustrating or even a little stressful if you're working with kids and they're there during the meeting. And obviously my, my son's one and a half, so he's not fully understanding, he has to be quiet. So these are the times where, you know, I've been a lot more lax on training him and about, you know, playing quietly. Because my older daughter, she, when it was just her and I, when, before my son was born, she knew how to do all of those things. But like, you know, it's been a lot more lax. And my husband's home now, and so I have, have we admittedly have not done much um, teaching him how to play quietly if I'm in a meeting or something like that. But it is what it is, it was fine. Um, and that's what... I think good about when you have an employer who's very um, understanding and you have like a family environment in your company, I, I would say. Now if it was a client meeting, I think it would be a lot different, but luckily it was just an internal meeting and that was fine. But I do have to send out a couple of emails right now and then get ready for dinner that's supposed to start at 5 and I still haven't maybe started cooking yet and still have to tidy up so it's still a lot to do. These are one of the things where there's just not enough time in the day, honestly. So it's 4.30 and we're doing cleanup and prep for the dinner and I'm so lucky that I have a husband that's very like able to help me because to be honest my house was a complete wreck by this point and I really didn't know how we were going to get it through but my husband was able to jump in get started on the dishes while I just start cleaning up and getting dinner started. It's 4.40 and I'm finally getting the pasta on the stove and I have a little helper coming into the kitchen to try and make a little bit of a mess now that we've just cleaned up, but we taught him that he has to put it right back. So that's me trying to teach him he needs to close it and put it right back and not make a mess, especially after we just cleaned up. I'm getting the shrimp cleaned and ready and prepped for the pasta and I'm still wrapping up for work while doing this. You have to learn how to multitask definitely when you work from home because this was multitasking to the max. So much for her coming with me on this really really busy hectic day um, I hope what you gain from this and watching my day is to learn to adjust um, your schedule and your plans even when 
come up with an original plan because you have to be flexible definitely when you work from home. Um, it's definitely been a long trying day, especially with like the anxiety of not getting things done that were originally on my list and letting those go and being okay with letting those things go. Um, I think that lessened a lot of the anxiety that we, I had. And I just finished up dinner. I made some shrimp broccoli alfredo for my cousin. She should be arriving shortly. And we're gonna enjoy that for the rest of the day. Now that work is over, we managed to tidy up, or my husband managed to tidy up. And so we're just gonna enjoy the evening and then get this red rest of it soon. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and it lets me know what you're interested in watching. Comment below and let me know if this is how your day goes. Let me know if what you would like to know more about. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Bye.